Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzma with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea for our daily Precious Metals update on Wednesday, Hump Day. Uh, take a look at that. A couple of SUPers out there. Looks like a beautiful flat day. However, I think we're going to be in for some really windy and more stormy uh, uh, big seas. Might be some surf this weekend for you local surfers down here. Um, Hey, let's take a look at my screenshot here, and uh, I'm going to go over, have we hit bottom yet? Um, uh, I get asked this question almost on a daily basis. It's almost as if uh, some people actually think I have a crystal ball, and I do actually. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, have, we, uh, have we hit bottom yet? Um, that's a question I'm going to answer here towards the end of the show. First, I'm going to go over a couple news articles here. Uh, then I'm going to go over uh, uh, yesterday's uh, videos and comments. And then I'll get to gold prices here. And uh, then we'll talk about uh, a couple other things here. But meanwhile, I will let you know on that. Uh, have we hit bottom? Uh, first, let's go into uh, the Perth Mint. I want to talk about the dismal quality of uh, most corporate news. I guess this also extends down to the West Australian, you know, the Australian press as well. They're just as bad as our corporate press here. Uh, but even uh, more disappointing than uh, uh, corporate press is the Perth Mint. And, <laughs> and whoever they, Perth Mint Chief Executive Richard Hayes, uh, this guy's a real winner. I don't think he has a clue. I mean, he may be a great mint chief executive. He's probably really good. They make some great bars, you know, he's involved with, but he don't know shit about the gold market, obviously, or the silver market. All he knows how to do is make some bars. Uh, let's read this article. Uh, Perth Mint says predicted Reddit raid will fail quite dismally. And look, you know where they got their information from? You know, the brilliant people at corporate media down South Australia and Australia, they got their brilliant information from the guy that actually runs the chief executive, Richard Hayes at the Perth Mint. Now, this guy, he is an expert at uh, uh, of minting bars and minting coins. He's absolutely an expert. But, you know, sometimes people assume that an expert in one field is an expert in another, in another field. Now, because he's an expert in minting the minting process. Does this make him an expert in the silver markets and the gold markets? Probably not. Highly unlikely, too. He's very specialized in his field, more than likely. Uh, so I, I bet you he probably doesn't read much at all when it comes to the economics of silver and gold. You know, he's got everything. He's, you know, he's doing everything he can just to keep up with his job, probably. Uh, so he, here's the uh, corporate press in Australia going to a uh, uh, a guy that specializes in minting coins, not a guy that knows the market, knows what's going on in the markets, but a guy that just specializes in one area. Shows you how stupid the corporate press is, generally speaking. That extends to our press here as well, in my opinion, including the Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, and uh, a lot of these big corporate uh, uh, publications that people look up to. When it comes to precious metals, they don't know shit. Uh, uh, so Perth Mint, I'm going to read this right here. There could be a raid on Perth Mint's silver vault today. Now, this is probably from last week or something. But the precious metals refinery's chief executive has already predicted it will fail quite dismally. Well, what is his data based on? What an idiot. Just because uh, someone's made a run on silver in his particular mint, uh, he gets all offensive. Oh, they're going to fail dismally. And then, he and then they start pretending like he knows what the F he's talking about, and he really doesn't. Uh, and let's move on here. Uh, now, this isn't a dramatic Italian job. Esk heist we're talking about where a Michael Caine-led crew blows the bloody doors off the mint. The raid in this instance is being driven. See, again, shows you how poor uh, reporting is. Look at that. What, what the hell does that mean? Uh, the raid in this instance is being driven by Reddit users on online forums, hopefully to artificially inflate the price of silver for their own short-term gains. Oh, my God. What a piece of trash. By the way, uh, I got to admit, the Western Australia. This is the biggest piece of trash article I've seen on gold in a long time. And uh, uh, you know, Peter, uh, who is it? Richard Hayes at the Perth Mint may be a great mentor, but he doesn't know shit from Shinola. Uh, why would you ask this man these questions? Uh, really, really. Uh, all right, here we go. I got to repeat that again. The raid in this instance is being driven by Reddit users and online forums, hoping to artificially inflate the price of silver for their own short-term gains. First off, is there any evidence that? that the run on the Perth Mint had anything to do with uh, uh, Reddit users. No, there's no proof of that whatsoever. Now, Reddit users may have been talking about it, advertising and promoting it, but hey, let's see. Let's see the data on who really was emptying the vaults at Perth Mint. I can pretty much tell you it wasn't Reddit users. So this whole article is bullshit, uh, and so is the person they quoted uh, full of shit. Uh, there we go, Perth Mint chief... Uh, uh, Chief Bullshitter Richard Hayes 
told the West Live these keyboard warriors had gone to great lengths in pursuit of their goals. Let's see the quote by, uh, again, uh, Mr. Hayes, you should stick to minting coins and bars and keep your frickin' mouth shut because you have no frickin' clue what you're talking about. Uh, the keyboard warriors have been circulating a variety of information over the past couple weeks that the Perth Mint doesn't have silver. Perth Mint has run out of silver. Perth Mint doesn't have enough silver to sell to his cousin, none of which is true. Uh, so first off, Mr. Hayes, what, what the hell are you doing reading a Reddit forum with a bunch of people that are really... I'm not saying anything bad about the Reddit forum and the Silver people, but they're not the educated buyers. They're not the people causing the run on the Perth Mint. Why would you assume that and then just start talking about these people like they make a huge difference? You obviously don't know your own market. Uh, again, sorry, I don't mean to sound a little uh, uh, angry about that, but man, I can't stand it when people in positions like this, like Mr. Hayes at the Perth Mint, make stupid-ass comments like this. Um, the increasingly frenetic, you know, because people will read this mainstream corporate news and say, oh, well, this is the truth. And, and I got, to, again, I tell you, uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous the stuff that the corporate media gets away with. And, 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 their, and their reporters and their journalists just suck across the board. They don't know how to vet any facts or information. They never even look at data. If they had looked at data, they would have never printed this ridiculous article uh, quoted by a ridiculously stupid man that doesn't know his market. Uh, again, that's my opinion. Uh, the increasingly frenetic online campaign, which has led to the same investor forum fueled uh, global short squeeze on the U.S. video game called GameStop last month, has included claims that the state government-owned refiner does not have enough physical silver to cover clients wanting to take possession of the metal they have But And then, again, I'm sure on the Reddit forum that people are talking about that. Uh, but that has nothing to do with what's going on uh, with uh, silver being dried up and there's no silver. Really? You're going to give a Reddit group of the credit for draining the Perth Mint uh, vaults? Are you that freaking stupid, guys? Are you that stupid uh, uh, Western Australia press? Are you that stupid uh, Mr. Hayes from the uh, Perth Mint? Really? Uh, one way to try to prove the market is short silver is to have a raid day here in Australia. Well, God, he's just making shit up as he goes, isn't he? A raid on the Perth Mint, presumably people will be calling us, queuing up the gates to buy silver, and their hope is we won't have it, Mr. Hayes revealed. My gosh. You know, someone in the, in, the, in the Australian government should tell this guy, don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut. Just do what you're doing. Make beautiful bars and make beautiful coins and, and keep your freaking mouth shut. That's what they should be telling Mr. Hayes down there because what a load of shit this article is. Uh, and again, far from urging people not to descend on the mint to buy silver, Mr. Hayes welcomed it. As long as the people who turn up are prepared to pay the going rate for a thousand ounce silver ingot, which is roughly 24000 Well, Mr. Hayes, I would bet you that those people that showed up at your doors wanting to buy or, or get their silver would have taken those thousand ounce bars if you had offered them. But you didn't. You know why you didn't offer them? Because you knew they would take them. Or at least maybe not you because you don't seem smart enough to figure that out. Uh, and again, as I said, Mr. Hayes just just keep sticking to, there's Mr. Hayes, I think. Uh, just keep, oh, that's Alex Golan. Uh, maybe we should promote this guy to Mr. Hayes' position because he looks like he's much smarter than Mr. Hayes who made all these stupid comments. Uh, Mr. Hayes says, we have 60 tons of silver in the vault. Uh, we're a major refiner of gold and silver. So uh, we refine about 350 tons of gold and a similar amount of silver each year. So as we sell it, there's more that comes, though, uh, uh, that comes. We have more than adequate silver to fill, fulfill whatever orders are out there. Uh, anyways, I'm kind of, the Mint Chief's executive said, and Mr. Hayes, the idiot at the uh, uh, Perth Mint, said, uh, Reddit investors would fail quite dismally in their attempts to corner the silver market. Well, you're right about that, Mr. Hayes, because they're not the ones that are causing the silver market to uh, go up, and they're not the ones cornering the silver market. Uh, the silver uh, uh, deal here, the silver shortage has been going on for quite some time for a couple reasons. First off, there was a shortage of silver prior to 2020. Uh, actually, uh, we were having a hard time sourcing any product from anyone, not just the Perth men, anywhere. It was tougher and tougher to get silver. Of course, you would know that because your job is to mint and produce coins and bars, not to procure silver, not to trade in silver. So you wouldn't have a clue about that. That's why you made those stupid, idiotic statements, Mr. Hayes. Uh, again, that's my uh, my opinion. Um, but uh, there's been a shortage for quite some time, uh, and then 2020 only exasperated that shortage with the uh, with the uh, everything closed down for a year, mines, refiners. So now you've got a, a silver shortage that started prior to 2020. And after 2020, everything shut down. There's no product, even less product coming in. And here we are right now, and you're saying there's no silver shortage. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. I think if I go on any further, I'll just keep calling the man a moron for the comments that he made. And again, uh, Mr. Hayes, you're probably, you are a absolute, not probably, you, you guys are great. Your products are wonderful. Uh, but you need to stick to making your products and stop making comments you have no clue about. Uh, again, that's my opinion. And Mr. Ben O'Shea uh, from the West Australian Mint, uh, your article sucks. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you, no due diligence no, or whatever, no uh, research, no research on your data. You just quoted someone you thought was an expert. Well, you were wrong, sir. Terrible article. Sorry about that. Had to say it. Uh, and then, you know, this made me think, too, going into uh, looking at silver shortage. I said, you know what? Let me see what other publications are saying about the silver shortage, which has clearly been happening for quite some time, but nobody really wants to talk about in corporate news. Uh, so I did silver shortage in DuckDuckGo, which is the only uh, private uh, uh, search engine out there. Uh, and you know what? Since I've been using DuckDuckGo, I don't get all those annoying ads now from Google about, you know, if I searched uh, uh, something about uh, uh, bed sheets, now I don't get all kinds of uh, uh, ads on bed sheets. That's what I like about DuckDuckGo. But I did a, uh, a search on silver shortage. I hit news right here. And uh, look, this is what I come up to. Nothing. Gold slips below $1,700 three-week lows. Biden spending. And, and here we go. What, what was I just saying about the Western Australian uh, writers and, and journalists and cor you know corporate news like that being complete morons? Well, here's another complete moron publication, MSN. Uh, unbelievable that they can, they, they, they have people that write this bullshit. Goal, because of Biden's spending plan lifts yields. Uh, that's the narrative. That's the bullshit narrative. But had someone actually taken the time to do research, research data, and talk to real experts about this stuff, they would realize that this is nonsense. It has nothing to do with uh, Biden's spending plans and lifting yields. In fact, that's going to cause the price of precious metals to rise. So what, you, you, and there's no wonder that that the gold and silver are having a tough time uh, uh, occasionally because uh, or, or we're having a tough time getting the word out there because our mainstream corporate media are complete freaking morons uh, they really are uh, I'm gonna move on from there I did the same thing with do uh, gold shortage and I came up with kind of the same results uh, even though we're not having such a shortage with gold there is a uh, a shortage in uh, uh, product out there uh, I don't think there's a shortage in gold itself because all gold is kept, you know what I mean? It, it, it doesn't get thrown away in landfills like silver does. Um, it doesn't, uh, 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 you know, all the silver that was ever mined is generally still out there and still available, uh, unlike silver, which for the last 50 years or more, uh, millions of ounces have gone into landfills. They're not even available anymore. So, you know, I got to wonder sometimes if above ground uh, uh, silver is much rarer than above ground gold. And I kind of think it is, uh, if you ask me. But anyway, if you get a chance, type in, look for news under gold shortage, silver shortage. And the only thing you will find is nonsense. Nonsense, nonsense. Australian MSN investor ideas, NASDAQ, Yahoo News. Oh, gosh, that, I, you expect more from these people. But uh, I guess maybe I shouldn't. Um, uh, take a look at GAT.org. Actually, as far as uh, uh, corporate news sources go, these guys do a way better job than Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, and CNBC uh, combined uh, over a whole period of a year. These guys do better than they do in one day. These guys do better in one day than what all three of those corporate publications do in a year when it comes to reporting true stuff and facts on precious metals. Make sure that this is on your reading list uh, or in your bookmark bar, GAT.org, because uh, GAT.org, their specialty is showing how the game is rigged. And they do it scholarly. They do it with data and real information and real facts. They will, if you go through this GAT.org, they'll teach you how the market is rigged. And once you know how the market is rigged, you can play and you can win. It's like knowing how the blackjack table is rigged. If you know that a dealer is uh, a weak dealer and he does this all the time and you know what happens, you can win blackjack. It's easy. So it's the same thing with gold and silver. Once you know how the game is rigged, you'll win it. Uh, but you can't win it if you watch corporate news, if you watch read the Wall Street Journal. You can't win if you, you uh, read Bloomberg. You can't win in gold and silver if you uh, uh, watch uh, CNBC or uh, Fox uh, uh, Business News. You can't win uh, because they have no freaking clue what they're talking about. You, you can't listen to people that don't know what they're talking about, otherwise you'll just lose. Uh, Let's take a look at ZH real quick and all the different uh, articles on here. Nothing really. Uh, gold fix, Bitcoin, and gold technicals. Uh, maybe I'll take a look at that tomorrow. Uh, monetary metals issues gold token. Uh, again, why would you buy a gold token? Just buy the real goddamn thing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Forgive me for uh, saying that. Uh, but let's take a look at some articles on here. Other than that, not too much here. Uh, gosh darn. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that right there. Um, let's see. Nightmare. Blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, again, not too much in precious metals. I'm just trying to see uh, S&P 500 surges uh, above 4,000. How is it the stock uh, market, equity market are just you know going crazy? I mean, still, um, uh, how much money are those guys making? I mean, Apple must be selling a lot of phones to be worth what they are. Uh, but again, I digress. This is not talking about stocks and bonds. We're looking for gold and silver articles here. Not too much. I went over it a little bit earlier, but I just kind of wanted, went over a couple things here. And again, uh, Zero Hedge is free. You don't have to pay a, you have to pay a dollar a day if you want no ads like I have here, hardly any ads. But they do offer all these articles for free, uh, but you have to annoy, deal with annoying pop-up ads. Uh, again, not too much to read here. I'm going to move into uh, uh, yesterday's videos. Um, I might have confused some folks. I did two videos yesterday. One was on a $20,000 penny. It wasn't a gold and silver or precious metal bullion update. Uh, it said $20,000 penny. I did it yesterday. Uh, it was about numismatics because I am also a rare coin and a rare paper money dealer. I know that stuff just as well. Uh, if not, well, I won't say better. Precious metals are easy compared to rare coins. Uh, you come, you come work for me in about uh, three weeks if you have half a brain. Uh, I'll have you doing a professional uh, retail metals trading. Uh, but uh, numismatics, that's a whole different story. So I did a little article about uh, some uh, twenty thousand dollar pennies out there. Take a look at it if you get a chance. Uh, meanwhile, I didn't mean to confuse any of you that might have thought it was my regular gold and silver update. And speaking of the gold and silver update yesterday. Um, let me go over some questions that I had. Not too many, so it's going to be really easy. Uh, yesterday's uh, uh, title was this, Economic Recovery. Ha, huh, joking, right? <laughs> so, and actually, I got very little views on that. I'm wondering if they kind of stuffed me because of my... Uh, uh, eh, probably not. Uh, Robert Schulenberger said, bad coal, what the F. Uh, Rob, I kind of look, take, take a look here. There's two comments here that kind of described exactly why I use that term. Um, the description is, is used to blah, 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 there you go, da, 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 da. So that's kind of why I use that term uh, bad cold, as you uh, mentioned right there. I hope that it helps explains it, because um, uh, I do believe that there is a large amount of censorship going on, especially with their artificial intelligence that checks these videos and all that stuff. And I don't want my videos to get stuffed because I'm not here to get stuffed. I'm here to actually educate uh, my, my friends out there. Uh, John Smith, he who controls the past controls the present. He who controls the present controls the future. The similarities between Orwell's 1984 and today are disturbing. Uh, yes, sir, but that's going into political commentary. But obviously, you know, I do that. Uh, I try to avoid it, but I do. And I agree with you 100%. Orwell, George Orwell is rolling over. He's spinning in his grave. And actually, if they hooked up a few wires to uh, George Orwell's coffin, you could probably generate electricity from how fast Orwell is spinning in his grave right now. Uh, and I agree with you 100%. Group think and especially double think of the key components to controlling the narrative. Uh, man, you are another 1984 reader. Gosh, I, you know, that was mandatory reading when I was in high school. Not mandatory, but they, you know, they had us read 1984. I'm really surprised. Um, that, that's probably banned from schools now. Uh, but absolutely 100% correct. I believe you, believe you 100%. Uh, Don Hauser in comments, didn't see this one, says 10-year bonds were 14% during the 1980s. And uh, treasuries were were uh, way high. So you're absolutely correct, sir. I did a show. I've done a couple shows on this, explaining to uh, how that narrative that as treasuries yields rise, gold prices will fall. That's complete bullshit. I'd like to find the guy that originally said that to the original uh, mainstream corporate news moron that reported that, that made that a soundbite that seems to be true amongst people that have no clue what they're talking about. No. Treasury yields, especially at 1.7%, have no effect on gold whatsoever. People aren't going to move out of gold to buy tread. Give me a break. Whoever, whoever made that comment needs to be drawn and quartered, in my opinion. Uh, so absolutely, David Howes, you're absolutely uh, correct. Um, John Smith, uh, thank you for commenting. Thank you for watching Don, too. Uh, David Hauser. Uh, Michael Rodriguez, don't know if this was an isolated or things come, that the Treasury Department has quietly begun to raid homes and crypto businesses that deal with Bitcoin. I wouldn't doubt it. I don't know if it's a quiet raiding, uh, uh, Michael. What's probably happening is that uh, it is trackable, and uh, IRS, uh, which is the Treasury Department, has the right to go in to these exchanges and ask for information and get warrants. So if some guy's been out there making a $5 billion, $5 million in the last 10 years on crypto coins, and he hasn't reported it on his taxes, the IRS knows about it or will know or can find out about it, and they will come and raid you, and they will take all your property and say you owe me $6 billion for your Bitcoin profits. And that's what they do. Uh, so that's probably what we're saying, and another reason why 
I'm not a big fan of uh, cryptos as a currency. However, if you made money on it, make sure you report that money because it is not secret, folks. Uh, Butterbeans, great video and lots of information. Thank you, sir. Uh, my whole point of these videos is to uh, teach you uh, how to fish, not give you a fish. Uh, so if I teach you how to fish, maybe you'll become a better fisher than, fisherman than me, Mr. Butterbeans or Mrs. Butterbeans. Uh, and at that case, you can maybe give me a little payback for teaching you by giving me some good information. <laughs> Always looking for good information. If you learn more than me and become a better trader than me, remember me when you get rich. Give me some insight. Uh, Black Silver Staff, I like your topics and talking points. Thank you for watching, sir. Uh, Undisturbed Kingdom, thank you for great information. And again, thank you for watching, sir. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, buy the dips. Absolutely. We need to get a t-shirt that says buy the dips. <laughs> uh, Ashley Casey, I've been in Facebook jail too many times. I have faith in crypto. Uh, Ashley, I got to admit, I have a Facebook account and I have been in jail many times myself. Uh, quite, I'm confounded why, but uh, no less, we are living in a different world. But you have to find ways to get your message out there, even if you got to co covertly say uh, uh, a bad cold like I did down here, like Robert was asking me about. You got to get your message out, so you got to find ways around that, and that's what we do. Uh, John Smith, love your last video on Pretend World, which we all live. Uh, you know, that was one of my favorite uh, videos I've done so far, Pretend World. And I, and I really, John, I think I could have gone on, we pretend this, we pretend that we're doing this, we pretend that we're not having this happen. I could have did that for two hours, <laughs> so, quite frankly. Uh, hey, thanks for uh, subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And again, the whole point of this stuff is to teach you guys how to fish so you can teach other people how to fish. Listen, don't hold this knowledge for yourself. I want you to teach your friends, your families, get the word out there to buy physical gold, silver. Uh, don't buy ETS because they don't, they're full of shit in my opinion. Uh, it's a piece of paper. Don't buy paper, gold, and silver. Buy the real stuff, folks. Buy the real stuff. You won't regret it. And buy local. I'll say that again, too. Um, and yesterday, as this uh, uh, points out, forgot to show gold and silver prices, and I did. I went through my whole thing yesterday, and I didn't even talk about gold and silver prices. So we are going to do that now. That's next. Ready? Gold and silver prices up a little bit. Uh, you know, we had a low of, what, 1678, uh, 1680 a couple days ago. Uh, we bopped up to that 1724 point. And uh, at 2463 on silver right now, even though it was in 23 in the high 23s for a short period of time, but not long, and 1197 on platinum. And the problem with these prices right here, these are bullshit paper prices, folks. You can't buy real gold and silver. Uh, you couldn't even go to Mr. Hayes at the Perth Mint and buy 1,000-ounce silver bars for this price. Mr. Hayes would want some stupid premium for him as well, uh, even though that's not his market. He's, a, he's good at making the product. He has no idea how to sell it or where to get it. Or what, or what the market really is. Uh, but again, <laughs> I don't want to go back to that. Uh, so these are bullshit paper prices, folks. Uh, my earlier uh, art, my earlier meme here said, or uh, uh, thumbnail said, hit bottom yet? Um, you know what? Uh, we haven't hit bottom yet. I don't believe we hit bottom. I think that uh, bottom will be the bottom in the gold and silver precious metals market. And I'm going to give you a real good hint here. I'm going to give you actually some inside information. Uh, we will hit bottom. And the bottom will be hit when the entire financial system collapses like it did in 2008. Um, we are paper, our markets, unfortunately, with gold, silver, and platinum uh, are temporarily being driven by the tail. Uh, the tail is wagging the dog. The dog being the physical market, you know, real gold and silver bars, the tail being the paper markets, you know, paper, bullshit. Uh, so the tail has been wagging the dog for many, 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 many years and decades, actually. Uh, but the uh, physical, uh, the dog doesn't mind it so much, but the dog is actually getting sick of the tail right now, and I think the dog is trying to chew the tail off. <laughs> so, uh, And physical, uh, once that happens, once the tail has been chewed off and the paper markets and the physical markets uh, uh, or the paper markets are, are recognized for what they are, pure bullshit uh, across the board by a majority of people, uh, that's when the dog will fully chew, chew the tail off and we will separate. Uh, and I think we're already at that point. You know, physical prices have already separated from the paper prices. If you And again, look at how much premiums you're paying on stuff right now. You know, you're paying up to, you know, you're paying anywhere from uh, $4 to $10 an ounce premium for silver. What does that tell you, folks? It tells you that the paper price is bullshit on silver. As far as gold, uh, you can't buy gold at $1,724. You can buy a bullshit piece of paper, but if you want to buy a real piece of gold, it's going to cost you anywhere from 80 to $200 over 
this price that you're looking at right here uh, over this bullshit paper price. And uh, platinum is probably similar, although I don't follow the uh, manipulations and monkey hammers and platinum. Uh, platinum does follow these other two markets. Uh, and again, as I said, we haven't seen the bottom yet. The bottom will be, and it will be only temporary, the bottom of gold and silver will be when economic markets crash. If When, when not if, when we see another 2008-like uh, environment uh, where the markets uh, just completely crash across the board and it may not look exactly like 2008 but I guarantee it'll be much 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 worse than 2008 yes you will see gold and silver prices crash they may even go in half but what what you are going to be watching that day when you see the entire economic system collapse one day what you'll be watching when you watch gold and silver uh, collapse you're not going to watch don't panic because it'll happen you're going to see the paper prices collapse. The, the gold and silver that you have in your home and your pockets uh, will be completely fine. And in fact, when you see the paper prices collapse, when the economy collapses, gold and silver paper prices will collapse, folks. Get over it. Uh, relax. Just remember when you wake up in the morning and when you saw the whole world collapsed economically and you look and you see gold and silver is half the price, that that's not a real price. Uh, and again, given that that happens, if you see an economic collapse and you see gold and silver collapse at half in price, you do everything you can to take advantage of that market. Even though I don't think you'll find a single bit of silver and gold available at that price, go out and buy whatever you can at that number uh, because that'll be the last dip, the last big freaking dip that you'll ever buy in at these levels. Uh, and I don't think you'll ever see these levels again at some point. Uh, that's just my opinion, and uh, uh, you can take it for what it's worth. Well, that's really about it. Uh, I want to take a look here real quick. America's silver and gold quick ratio 2016 to 2020. I wish I love Macro 10's uh, uh, graphs and bars. They have all kinds of great graphs. Uh, but I kind of just looking to see what the uh, 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 current ratio is. And it looks like 83 to 1 uh, on gold and silver. And where is it? Uh, there's got the America's gold and silver quick ratio 2000 to 2016. I guess this is a daily uh, one here. I'll have to take a look at this a little bit later and give you some more information. On, haven't played with this graph, but again, if you like graphs on gold, silver, platinum, treasuries, whatever, any kind of financial, I love macro trends. Make sure you put them on your bookmark bar as well. Well, that's really about it. This is Brian Kuzma with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Uh, best deals out there on uh, gold and silver are still 90% uh, constitutional silver is the best deal. If you can find 1 ounce, 10 ounce, or 100 ounce silver bars for less than a $5 an ounce premium over the price of silver, uh, that's not a bad deal. Um, do, not, do not pay more than $5 an ounce. Uh, premium over on any silver products, folks. If you're a real silver investor, you're not going to pay over five bucks uh, an ounce a premium for any silver products unless you can't buy anything else. Then you're stuck, and then that point you can. But if there's any other products available for under five hundred dollars, uh, five under five dollars an ounce premium, then you need to buy those. Don't buy anything more than that. Uh, same thing with gold. Don't pay more than uh, let's say on bars. Don't pay more than a hundred dollars over the price of gold right now uh, for gold bars. And again, you get them a little bit cheaper than that, and they are available. Uh, but buying gold eagles uh, for uh, 170 to 200, I hate to say it. I got tons of them here that I haven't sold because I talk people out of them. But not a great deal. Uh, same thing with silver eagles. Uh, but no less, uh, when we run out of uh, all the product, like uh, when we run out of constitutional silver, that's uh, less than $5 an ounce. When we run out of triple uh, nine silver, that's uh, less than $5 an ounce. And all I have sitting in my safes and all I can get is silver eagles and they're going to cost you eight bucks. Guess what? The dog is wagging the tail at this point, folks. I am out. If I'm out and I'm charging these high premiums and I'm going to have to at some point when I can't buy this cheaper product, uh, the dog is wagging the tail at that point. And uh, I think uh, you're going to be happy that you own gold, silver, and precious metals. Ah, I digressed again. Again, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. Uh, if anything crazy happens, I'll do another report. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button up top too. And uh, again, talk to you soon. Bye now.